base alignment of the 4-2-5 defense. 4-2-5 defense, same thing as the 4-4 defense, if you're familiar with that. You're not going to have any real changes here. The only difference is what we're calling these two outside linebackers. Uh, rather than calling them linebackers, we're calling them strong safety and the weak safety. Otherwise, there is no real difference between the 4-2-5 and the 4-4 defense. What we're going to get on the strong side, on the strong side we're going to have a tackle and a strong three technique. We're going to have an end and a seven shaded inside of the tight end. If you've got a very good end who, who's technically sound and who's strong enough, you can also play him at a head up six and let him read that tackle inside. We're going to have the Mike linebacker in a 30 outside shade of the guard, five yards off the ball. He's responsible for that A-gap. Strong safety, three by three off the end of the line of scrimmage. He is your box player. So on run, you want to make sure that he's going to force the play back to the inside. On the weak side, we've got a tackle, a one technique, a shaded nose. He's going to handle that A gap. Our will linebacker, he's going to be, be in a 30. Outside shade of that guard, he's going to handle the B gap to his side. You can help him out a little bit. If you move that tackle over, shift your two tackles over, you can let this guy run a little more in 4 two, 5 give the mic a little more responsibility. It depends on the types of players that you have. Our end is going to be in a 50 outside shade on the weak side. Take your best athlete who doesn't need to know a lot and you don't want to have to think too much and put him at that weak side end and let him go. That's a great spot to put somebody who's just a great athlete, especially somebody who may not be a true defensive lineman, may not be down there splitting double teams, but who can really run, put pressure on the passer, we're going to cut this guy loose and just let him go. The weak safety is your box player on the weak side. The 4-2-5 defense is an eight-man front. We talk about in the defensive installation manual, which you can get for free at footballdefense.com. It is an eight-man front, which means that you should be running some sort of cover three shell behind it as your base. Whether you're running a one-high uh, man coverage or you're running a cover three, Either one is going to fit well with the 425. You can work things like a cover two or a quarters coverage in with the 425, but it's not structurally set up for that. This is the simplest thing that you can do. Uh, run a cover three. You can still adjust to all of your formations when you get your doubles and your trips, your sets that are threatening four verticals. You're just going to have to take some time to teach this guy how to collision and carry a number two receiver out there. You have to teach this guy how to split two, two receivers running verticals in his zone. Those are techniques that you can teach because you don't have to teach a whole lot of alignment if you're going to work out of this simple base 425. You can learn more about the 425 on our website. Lots of, uh, lots of articles on the 425 defense on footballdefense.com. We also have the Coaching Football's 425 ebook which you can download a purchase there anytime you can download it immediately. We hope you enjoyed this. Hope it's helped you learn a little bit more about the 425. Please visit